Hi, welcome to another YouTube video from Coracle. My name is Adra and in this video I will be talking about the expenses you have while studying in Germany as a student. When you come to Germany for any kind of course, be it bachelor's, master's or any kind of preparatory courses, you need to plan your expenses while studying in Germany. Once you land in Germany and activate your blocked account, all your expenses are covered under the blocked account amount for your first year of stay in Germany. You receive 934 euros per month for your expenses for the first year of stay in Germany, but you need to save and plan your expenses for the rest of your stay in Germany. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video and know all the expenses that you have while studying in Germany as a student. For better understanding, in this video, I have divided all the expenses into four categories, starting with the expenses that come up every month, expenses that come up once in three months, once in six months, and expenses that only come up one time after you land in Germany. Now starting with the monthly expenses. As a student studying in Germany, one of the biggest expenses you have every month is your rent. In Germany, the rent you pay depends upon the region you live in. For example, in small cities like Freiburg, you pay a 260 euros as rent for 18 to 20 square meter room, whereas in bigger cities like Munich, you end up paying 500 to 550 euros approximately every month for a similar 18 to 20 square meter apartment. The rent you pay also depends on the locality of your place in the city. For example, a person living in the city center or the nearby areas pays a huge amount as rent compared to the person living in the outskirts of the city. The rent you pay also depends upon the type of accommodation you choose. For example, in Hamburg, if you live in a student dorm, you pay approximately 350 euros every month as rent. Whereas, in a private shared accommodation, you end up paying 500 to 550 euros as per the apartment. Next on the list of monthly expenses is your health insurance. When you come to Germany as a student, you need to pay a mandatory contribution to your health insurance. The average amount a student pays as health insurance is approximately 125 euros every month. This depends upon the health insurance provider you choose and also the age of the student paying this amount. For example, if you take up TK's health insurance and you are below the age of 23, you need to pay an amount of 120 euros as health insurance, whereas if you are above the age of 23, you end up paying 125 euros every month as health insurance. Make sure to check out the Coracle website for more information on health insurance and health insurance providers available in Germany. Next expense is your groceries. As a student living in Germany, you spend approximately 100 to 125 euros on groceries itself every month. You can always get your groceries from the nearby supermarkets like Lidl, Aldi, Rewe, Kaufland, Edeka or Penny which can be found anywhere and everywhere in Deutschland. If you like to save up on your grocery expenses, don't forget to download the Kaufda app which shows you products that are available at a discounted rate at these supermarkets and also don't forget to collect fund while returning your recyclable plastic bottles and soft drink cans. Next is transportation. Usually, when you enroll yourself at a German university, along with the letter of enrollment, you receive a semester ticket that is valid for traveling in any kind of public transport in a region nearby to your university. In case your university doesn't provide a semester ticket, you can always buy a Deutschland ticket for 49 euros and travel all over Germany in all kinds of public transport available. If you are a student studying in Germany, you can avail the Deutschland ticket at approximately 18 euros instead of 49 euros. And also upgrading it using the DoTick app, you can get it at a much cheaper rate. Next expense is the internet. This completely depends on the internet provider and the internet plan you choose. After coming to Germany, when you buy a SIM, you can take it from any kind of providers like WinSIM, SIM.de, O2 or even Vodafone. You can get a wide range of options in internet plans ranging from 10 euros to 30 euros every month. Also, if you get lucky, being at the right place at the right time, you can even get as good deals as 27 GBs every month for just 10 euros. 
Next is dine out and takeaways. Having food from restaurants or takeaways can cost you nearly 30 euros every month depending on the frequency and the place you dine in. For more savings, try having a control on your cravings and cooking good and healthy food at home itself. And last in this category, we have the miscellaneous expenses. Miscellaneous expenses can include shopping somewhere from 50 to 75 euros every month. This is not a mandatory expense, but it depends upon your needs because you end up buying notebooks, stationery items, winter wares, etc. Miscellaneous expenses also include haircuts and grooming. Haircuts in Germany can be quite expensive. Haircuts for men usually cost around 15 to 30 euros and for women it can go up to 25 to 30 euros every month. Next is gym and sports activities. If you are a person who likes to work out and hits the gym on a regular basis, you can end up with a membership around 25 to 40 euros and it also depends on the services you avail. With this, all the monthly expenses sum up to approximately 800 to 815 euros with rent on an average as 450 euros, health insurance as 125 euros, groceries as 110 euros, transportation as 20 euros, internet as 20 euros, dine outs as 30 euros and miscellaneous expenses as 60 euros. Next is the category of expenses that come once in 3 months. The expense included in this category is the German radio tax or as you call it in German Rundfunkbeitrag. The fixed fees for each household is 18.36 euros unaffected by the size of the apartment. In shared flats, only one person pays this amount with the option of dividing it later among the rest of the tenants. Next is the category of expenses that come once in 6 months. This category includes your semester contribution. In every 6 months, you need to pay an amount as semester contribution in your university. Semester contribution usually ranges from 280 euros to 350 euros depending on the university that you are enrolled in. Last but not the least, we have the category for expenses that come as one-time expense. While renting a place in Germany, you need to pay an amount as caution deposit which is usually returned when you move to a new place. The deposit is usually the cold rent for 3 months. But the deposit amount can vary depending on your landlord. Also, while vacating the place, if your landlord finds out that any of the property present in the rented area was damaged or vandalized, he can hold back some amount from the deposit paid by you. So make sure before leaving the place, you don't damage or vandalize any of the properties given to you. So this was all about the expenses you have while studying in Germany as a student. Make sure you check out the summary of expenses and know how much more or less you spend every month and how much you can manage to save up in circumstances when you have been spending a lot. If you like to know more about opening a blocked account or taking a health insurance, make sure to check out the Coracle website at www.coracle.de. If you think the video was informative and has helped you in any way, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do let us know in the comment section below what videos would you like for us to come up with. Until then, cheers!